Hi, I'm mostly in the moment and I'm glad you're here with me. Um, I'm going to be doing the weekly Twin Flame reading for February 4th. And I'm going to be answering some questions about the Divine Masculine. There's been a lot of um, energies going around concerning the Divine Masculine and if he is in fact actually a Divine Masculine. There's been comics popping up. Um, exes, soulmates, soulmates that are mimicking twin flame behavior, um, all of which has happened for me in the last few days. Um, we asked for <laughs> divine guidance in um, physical union and we got it whether we wanted it this way or not or we're expecting it this way or not. So many of you have, have maybe gone in contact with your twin flame, but it didn't go exactly as you thought it would. And it's because they're not ready yet, or they showed you something that you're not ready yet for either. Um, you might have had a karmic or a soulmate pop up to help you in that one last thing that you need to work on before you come into better union. Um, and that is also the Divine Masculine realizing that there's this one last thing that they have to work on before they come into union. Um, also, it could be that the Divine Masculine isn't ready yet. And, you know, the Divine um, Energies aren't going to let you leave you hanging and will give you the physical support that you've been wishing for but it might come in to your life in a form of a friend a karmic or a soulmate and i'm not saying go around sleeping with people or go on 51st dates but kind of go with the flow i've gotten so much advice on a weekly basis from spirit the first which was about a month ago was about that reunion is happening soon and then it was um, you know, because I kept asking about, oh, uh, is it coming around now? Is it, will I know, when, do you know um, how far away it is? I'd like to plan out my life. And um, Sarah kept telling me, well, you know it's divine timing, right? So why, uh, you know you have to let it be. So, <laughs> um, you know the answer. So kind of, you kind of um, <laughs> just got to wait for it to happen. You'll know when it happens. And then... Um, I had um, a soulmate pop into my life. I had a karmic and an ex pop into my life. And then a soulmate that was mimicking twin flame behavior. And this soulmate actually, I always believed was a twin flame, not my twin flame, but um, also on a twin flame journey. And we would mirror each other's relationships all the time. Um, and he was having trouble getting over his past um, and, and working on his emotions. Like he was moving forward. He was ready to step forward into the world and start, you know, something serious with someone else um, slowly. But he was still struggling of letting go of his past and dealing with some of his emotional stuff. And he mirrored in me some of the stuff I have to tie up loose ends with when it comes to finances and home matters and it was kind of something I knew I had to do um, but it, he kind of made it very obvious to me that that's the last thing I need to do before I come into better union as well. So both of us being on twin flame journeys but not being each other's twins is kind of really helpful and um, guiding me. I think he's part of my soul family. He must be. Um, so we're helping each other um, figure out what we need to do before we come into better union with our own twins. And it's very, um, I'm really grateful. My ex that popped in, the karmic popped in. Um, the karmic reminded me of where I was in the past and who I am now. And um, my ex also, but it kind of, um, it was kind of me letting go of even though the relationship wasn't the best, I left it on good terms and I let him know that we're, um, we're letting go of the past. And it was very um, cathartic for me to 
really figure out where I am on the twin flame journey and this whole divine masculine situation, even though it could be many of these situations, I am keeping a positive outlook and just kind of going with the flow. My advice from spirit over and over again in these, this past week has go with the flow, go with the flow. So I'm not sleeping around with people. I'm not going on 51st dates, but I'm just having conversations and honest, truthful, you know, spiritual conversations and it's helping me figure out what I need to do um, next and kind of just be in the moment, live in the moment and go with the flow. And, you know, that's never failed me. Being positive, rolling with the punches and always produced brilliant uh, results for me. And especially now um, that everything is manifesting like quickly, um, it happens within later in the day, the next day, um, like that quickly. So here we have the uh, feminine in this last week. <sighs> kind of waiting on the divine masculine to start this new journey. But they might have not been seeing what was right in front of them. And this um, opportunity, this other cup that's been given to you, whether it be a friend, a karmic, a soulmate, or whatever, is kind of a divine um, guidance, kind of um, the divine offering you a cup in a way you might have not expected, um, from someone you might have not expected, to um, kind of help you along this new cycle. Because in your heart, you're kind of trying to figure out, like, how do I find the middle path? Like, am I betraying my twin? Am I, like, is it okay to talk to this other person? Is it, um, is it fair? Um, and the Divine Feminine is realizing, yeah, I have to look out for myself, you know? I, um, I may not be getting the emotional support or the physical contact with my divine masculine but that doesn't mean that I don't have love to share and love to receive from um, those around me that are helping me in my journey because um, in your head you're very hopeful about this um, long-lasting offer that's being offered to you it might be something very small it might be your friend asking you to go um, travel or maybe just hang out it might be a soulmate or karmic um, asking you to, you know making plans for the next day or the next week or the next month um, and kind of illuminating what you might want to do for your own life that will make you even more complete and um, come into better union. Because um, when it comes to your shared energies with your Divine Masculine, you guys are both taking some time to think about things and keeping your heart very guarded. Um, you're being very guarded. Um, you're not really sure what's going on. What are these people that are popping into my life? Um, if you have um, bumped into your divine masculine, it's kind of, you're being a little bit guarded um, because uh, you want some sort of structure in the way you communicate with each other. Um, you want to be able to work as a team with your divine masculine and you're not going to take anything less. Neither of you are going to take anything less. The Divine Masculine is also looking for some sort of structure in this um, coming together and communicating um, in a way that's, that's working together and not really working against each other because you want to... You're both kind of protecting yourself now a little bit. Um, even though the Divine Masculine is 
very much thinking about offering their love and they're making moves and they want to win at all costs but um <laughs> they're still also very guarded because the feminine is also a little bit guarded um this is past week energies um the divine masculine has been very excited about starting this new journey with the divine feminine um <laughs> Yet again, they're finding it so tricky to, like when they're making plans to move forward, they're finding it um, really tricky to manifest this offer of love. Wow, what's there missing? Okay. Um, they're missing the final stage of manifesting this. They were in their final, they're um, working on their um, last part of their plan in order to do this. That's what's, what's, that's what's so tricky is that they see this, they want to move forward. Um, they are guarded and um, a little to themselves right now because they are finding out their last step. And so that was last week. The current energies right now, I'm not going to lie, there's a lot of energy, high energy going around this game day. I've been feeling it all day. A lot of people are excited and um, are high energy today. I've been feeling it all morning. <laughs> so I, I, um, it's a little bit trickier to um, hone in on this energy. But um, the Divine Feminine understands and recognizes this offer of love. From a friend, a karmic, a soulmate, or your twin, but they're very much in their own power. They feel that they're all good, that they can cut through the lies, and now they have a decision to make. This decision may involve this divinely guided cup that you didn't really expect, whether it be a karmic or a soulmate or um, this person that's mimicking twin flame behavior. Like, what do you do about this? Because <laughs> um, you, your heart wants to make the right call. Because you're so tired of having to deal with this divine masculine situation. It's, it's, such a, it's such a headache sometimes to deal with um, giving out all this energy and um, thought on this twin flame journey with the masculine is kind of, you're kind of relieved to have someone, maybe someone from your past come through and lighten the load a little bit, bring back a little bit of um, innocence, innocent good times. Maybe you had a great conversation with someone from your past or a karmic or a soulmate or this person that's mimicking um, twin flame behavior. And it kind of lets you just put down this um, burden a little bit and see things in a new perspective. Maybe you've picked up on a new idea or, or a new um, action that you can um, move through, move um, forward with. Um, 
because the masculine here is still figuring out what to do with this truth that he's been given by the divine feminine. I want to see. Yep. Yep. Because behind the scene, he has so much hope and feeling that this is his wish granted. Okay, he's working behind the scenes, still, still working behind the scenes. Um, at night. This might be something he's um, dreaming about. He might be getting insight um, on what to do with his dream, dreams or his um, intuition. His intuition might be kicking it up a notch and he's just um, viewing the feminine as someone who may be like, you know, keeping hope herself and is slowly, you know, might be waiting and never loses hope, but is kind of tired of waiting kind of tired of holding space um, and although the they know the feminine will always have um, hold some space for them they can feel her kind of waning kind of drifting off you know maybe doing her own thing now um, letting go a little bit not holding on so tightly to this, to the divine masculine, because the divine masculine, got the four of wands here and the ace of wands, can feel that this new home is divinely guided. And he's just waiting, he's waiting. Wow. Wow. He's waiting to come out of the blue <laughs> and offer this Ace of Cup. Wow. Wow. This is crazy. He's <laughs> after this um, time he takes out because he knows what he wants. He's been working on the last step. He's gonna offer this cup out of nowhere. You're gonna get surprised, divine feminines. Uh, this is coming out of nowhere. He's going to go um, take some time to himself to really follow his intuition. His intuition is really, really kicking it up a notch. He's getting signs everywhere. He's getting signs everywhere. Yep. Wow. Okay, so there he's in his life, in his um, 3D life, 
he's connecting more to his spiritual self and he's um wow uh he's getting signs of the twin flame everywhere Wow. What does it make him do? Confidently offer this cup to Divine Feminine. Now let's ask some um, questions about why this karmic and so or soulmate or this person is mimicking this twin flame behavior. Oh, yeah, because the feminine might have felt a little bit, not a little bit, really overburdened and kind of betrayed by the divine masculine. You know, the divine feminine came through with this truth, you know, didn't, you know, it's like no matter what, I need to let the Divine Masculine know the truth. This might have been um, a while ago, you know, a few months ago to a few weeks ago to a few days ago. Um, and it's kind of been burdening the, burdening the feminine so hard um, with... The masculine not really coming through with an answer that makes sense, coming through with um, the truth, and it's just been killing the feminine. It's just been so much. So this um, karmic or soulmate or um, friend that comes through is here to help you release some of that burden, you know? So in the masculine, getting all these signs um, for the twin flame, for the divine uh, ma uh, feminine, the divine feminine is receiving those same signs for herself. This might have been one-sided a little bit. Um, so it's balancing out now. Wow, I can't, I, wow. With the feminine focusing back on herself and um, realizing her needs and what's gonna complete her, um, that's giving a lot of signs to the masculine that this is how the feminine is feeling and this is what the feminine is doing. It's kind of, wow, kicking the masculine in the butt a little bit to get going. How is this karmic soulmate or friend influencing the divine masculine? Wow. So go with the flow. I'm not saying go sleep around with everyone and go on a lot of dates or vacation with this friend, soulmate, or karmic, but just have conversations with people in general um, and with this divinely um, provided guidance from this person that came into your life recently to, because uh, just having a conversation with them and having them illuminate whatever it is in your 
Old Life that is helping you, that is giving the masculine a swift kick in the butt. What is this? Yep. Uh-huh. The divine masculine can feel it. The divine masculine can feel that the divine feminine is moving on with her life, moving on with herself, working on herself more, finding new ways, new ideas, new inspiration in herself and the, her environment and these other people that are coming through. And the divine masculine is worried. And it's... it's um. Kind of giving him, you know, it's like kind of the last straw for the masculine. He feels this energy and is kind of worried. And where is this going to go? Let's see. How's... Um, there's a lot happening next week. So, something is coming in for the feminine. Something big is coming in for the feminine. In it might be finances, career money wise or something you've been dreaming of just wanting or wishing for the masculine is going to be creating um more oh okay so he's been he's <laughs> He's been going to be creating more concrete plans, but kind of trying to use what he's learned from his past. And he's going to try to be more creative, more expressive, which is, um, you know, using his emotions more because, you know, masculines have a little bit of hard time dealing with um, their emotional aspects. But this is going to help him come forward in this, like, dramatic, crazy way that you want to expect. Spirit, again, is like, you know this is divine timing, right? Like, you want to be surprised a little bit, don't you? Like, you know, you just kind of have to chill out and let it happen. It's kind of fate. Yeah, don't <laughs> don't fight too hard um, with the current. Just keep going with the flow and live it in the moment and kind of see where things go, you know? Um You've already, you've already got through the hard part. You're already winning. This is just time to uh, enjoy the ride. Whatever happens, um, there's gonna be a lot that happens that makes everything more clear. Very soon, everything's gonna be like so obvious. Like, oh, that's why that happened, and um, this is what's probably going to happen next this is my next step and things are just going to make sense and be more clear all right i hope you enjoy that reading um my email is listed below if you would like a reading for 30 for 30 and please um email me if you're very very called to do so i do um in person readings and i work through referrals but i do a lot of energy work outside of reading and that's why I um, ask that you hit me up for a reading if you very feel if you feel very called to do so. Um, besides that, I wish you a lot of love and light. Uh, until next time.